Namaste, welcome. Welcome to your practice. Uh, practice today is going to be uh, evoking the energies of the moon, uh, in particular working with the full moon in Aquarius, or Kumba, as uh, it's called in um, and known in Vedic astrology. Let's start by coming to a comfortable seat, Sukhasan. Your legs, feet, the hips and pelvis connected with the earth. And then lift the spine from the pelvic bowl to lengthen towards the crown, the Sahasara. Uh, mudra for the moment, let's come into Vayu Mudra, fold in the index finger and bring the thumb to the knuckle. Palms face up on your knees or face down, depending on whether you want uplifting or more of a grounding energy. So this sort of ascending energy you want to work with or the descending energy. Closing your eyes or gazing softly down towards the earth. Beginning to settle onto the mat, coming into stillness. Connect with your breath, observing the natural ebb and flow, the natural rise and fall, the natural patterns of your breath. As they synchronize with the natural rhythms of nature, Couple of moments here, observing the breath. Our practice today is a practice that is inspired by the visionary, by those who innovate seek freedom, make change. An expansive practice. So let's begin to expand the breath. As we expand the breath, I invite you to bring your hands into Dirga Svara Pranayam, palms and fingers facing each other, then folding in the middle finger, and bringing the middle finger nail together. All of the other fingers are extended and parallel. So there is this channel created here, a pathway between the palms for the vital life force energy to travel with space between the hands. I invite you to Follow the breath into Dirga Pranayama, three-part yogic breath. As you inhale, draw the breath right down into the abdomen. Allow the lower abdomen to expand, ribs to open, chest to rise. A full breath in. As you exhale, draw the navel back towards the spine. Ribs curl in, chest falls. A full breath out. This three part pattern of breath to expand fully and then to contract and release fully. Inhaling, belly, ribs, chest. Rise, expand. Exhaling, navel, ribs, chest. Contract, release. Rise and fall of the breath in waves. Pran, the vital life force energy within us that is more than the breath. 
this subtle form of energy within, which gives us the full expression of ourselves, allows us the space to be, to act, to know, to understand. Three more cycles of Dirga Pranayama. Inhaling, belly, ribs, chest, rise and expand. Exhaling, navel, ribs, chest. Ebb, contract, withdraw. Like the waves of an ocean. Drawn by the energies of the moon. You'll be opening by chanting Om three times and then our mantra for today. One of the Shanti mantras for the relationship between the student and the teacher. We are both the student and the teacher. Releasing your Dirga Swara uh, Mudra your Dirga Pranayam, palms together in Namaskar, inhaling for Om three times. Inhale to prepare. Oh. Call and response for the mantra. Om Sahana Vavatu. Om Sahana Vavatu. Sahano Bunatu. Together. Sahano Bunatu. Saha viryam karava vahe. Saha viryam karava vahe. Tejas vina vaditam mastu. Tejas viva na. I'll start again. Tejas vina vaditam mastu. We practice that line one more time. Tejas vina vaditam mastu. Ma vidvishavahe. Ma vidvishavahe. Let's do call and response once more. Om sahana vavatu. Om sahana vavatu. Sahano Bunaktu Sahano Bunaktu Sahaviriam Karavavahe Sahaviriam Karavavahe Tejas Vina Vaditam Mastu Tejas Vina Vaditam Mastu Ma vid pishavahe. Ma vid pishavahe. Together. Om sahana vavatu. Sahano bunaktu. Sahaviryam karavavahe. Tejas vina vaditam mastu. Ma vid pishavahe. Om Shanti, Shanti, Shanti.
may we be protected in our learning together. May we be nourished with strength and courage as we work together for the good of humanity. May our learning be brilliant, illuminated and purposeful. May we never turn against one another. Peace within, peace without, peace all around. Opening your eyes if your eyes were closed. Inhale, let's reach out with our arms rising above. Interlace your fingers into Kali Mudra. Middle finger extended, left thumb over right thumb. Reaching up, lengthening towards the sky. As we exhale, let's turn over to the right. Gazing over the right shoulder. Inhale to center, Kali Mudra. Kali Mudra for strength and courage. Inhale, back to center, reaching up. So let's turn to the right on the exhale, in to center, exhale to the left. So continue in this pattern of movement with the breath, following the breath. This is an opportunity now for us to realign with our values, our purposefulness. What is our purpose, our life calling, our dharma? We can be inspired by visionaries. We can become the visionary. This is a time to innovate, to create change, to break through barriers, to break down old ways of doing things, letting go of labels and beliefs. Wherever you are in your cycle, next time you turn to left will be our final one in this pattern, reaching up hands in Kali Mudra. Draw in your light, Reach up to become open in your mind and heart. Look ahead to focus on the future and to be forward thinking. Exhale, hands to the earth. Take a moment here. And then let's bring our palms together in Pushpanjali Mudra. Palms together at the little finger side. And then slightly tip the hands forward as if you are pouring water from your palms. Aquarius, although it is the air sign connected to the element of Vayu, it is known as the water bearer. The water bearer is the pouring of emotions, of feelings, of humanity into the dry earth so that we may all be nourished by compassion, by love, by uh, commitment to the collective good in acts of service to humanity. So as we practice today, gathering in and drawing in in order to expand and offer up to the liberation and freedom of all. So the expansive quality, the movement of air, vayu, and then the offering of water, of nourishment, gifting. As we are here with our Pushpanjali Mudra, I invite you to connect with your Sankalpa, your heart's desire, your heart's prayer, your intention, your greater intention for the good of humanity, for the collective benefit of all. And we may be as idealistic and as visionary in our sankalpa as we are drawn to be. Offering this to the earth, offering this to our families, our communities, our societies, our global connection. 
with one another. Repeating your sankalpa to yourself three times. I channel my rebel spirit for the collective liberation of humanity. I channel my rebel spirit for the collective liberation of humanity. I channel my rebel spirit for the collective liberation of humanity. Bringing your palms together, bowing, at the third eye, the third eye at which we gain insight and understanding of our purpose, of our commitment. The full moon illuminates this for us. Releasing your hands. Let's bring the left leg out, tuck in that right heel. Take a moment here. Place your right hand slightly behind the right hip. Inhale, bring the left hand into your Vayu Mudra, so thumb on index finger. Inhale, circle here, and as you rise up, lift your sit bones from the earth. Continue to circle your arm like the motion of the moon moving through the constellation. Each time you reach up, lift off from the earth. We'll do this three times here. Connecting with ocean sounding breath, the victory breath with the constriction at the back of the throat. So you sound as if you have the seashell to your ear, listening to the sound of ocean. And when you have completed your three cycles, come back to center. Let's bring that left foot in, bring our legs into Baddha Kanasana butterfly, this fullness here of space. So gaze down into this space that we have created here. Begin to see by the light of the moon all that is dormant, hidden, internalized, unseen. So that we may seek clarity and through that clarity find connection. Finding connection enables us to collaborate, to co-create a world, a community. In our mirroring our highest visionary calling. So seek what is dormant, what is hidden. How we may be constricted, labeled, narrowed in our thinking, closed in our hearts and minds. Exhale, fold forward. Hinging at the hips here. Trust that you will be able to see in this moon. Trust that you will recognize the signs and symbols that are calling to you, that you will hear the inner voice. This full moon in Aquarius. Um, is the first of two full moons in Aquarius. The second will come in um, August. That will be known as the blue moon. When you have two moons in a cycle, then the second moon is known as the blue moon. So see this period as the bridge between this full moon and the next. And while you're traversing this bridge um, in the celestial pathway, Move from what is dormant, hidden, to what is illuminated and um, inspired. Inhale, lift your gaze. Exhale, release the right leg long, tuck in the left heel. Place the left hand slightly behind the left hip. Let's take this right hand into Vayu Mudra and circle and lift. Expand and rise. With Ujjayi breath, victory breath, trusting that you will be able to create the change, to find freedom, to uh, reach liberation. And when you've done your three cycles, coming back to the earth, 
take a moment here and then let's bring the feet back into Baddha Kanasana, butterfly pose. Lengthen here. And then as you exhale, lead with the heart. Let's draw back into our solitude, our retreat in which we can dream, in which we can um, see the delusions or the illusions of Maya lifting that veil of what is hidden from us. And we do that by retreating into the shadows. So even as the moon is in full brightness, it is also in darkness. When it is in darkness, it is also in um, brightness. This is the paradox of the moon. Inhale to rise up. Take a moment here. Let's swing our legs around. Come on to all fours for the three rounds of cat, cow, maji, asana, vikhyasana. Starting the movement of the tailbone, allowing it to wave through the length of your spine to open the heart and lift the gaze up towards the sky. Exhale, rounding through the tailbone. So this wave through the spine, this opening of the heart, and this contraction of the heart as you come into cow, open of the heart as you come into cat. This is the pulsation of life, spanda. This is the cycle of the moon from lightness to darkness, from darkness to light. This is how our knowledge moves. So this moon is also called Guru Purnima, in which we follow the light in order to come into greater knowledge, awareness, understanding. So our mantra for today, our Shanti mantra, you'll notice is called the Peace Mantra. Because through knowledge, through working together, through learning from one another, we are protected, we grow in strength and courage. We stand together in solidarity as a collective, as a community, rather than divided across lines of difference. Recognizing that there is difference, there are points of difference, yet just as the, these two moons kind of bridge towards one another, or just as this um, in Jyotish, the, the cycle of the moon is known as uh, the symphony of stars connecting each star, this interconnectedness between all of the stars. Come into stillness. Let's walk your hands as far forward as you can reach comfortably. Lift your tailbone, melt your heart towards the earth. Anahatasana, your eyebrow center can come to rest on the earth or place a pillow or a cushion or a block or a folded blanket underneath your eyebrow. This place of the meeting of the energies of consciousness, of creativity, of Shiva and Shakti. So through consciousness, we can become, have more creativity. Through expressing our creativity, we can connect with consciousness. Three full breaths here in Anahatasana. And then with care, walking your hands back towards you, all the way back. Let's take the big toes together, knees wide, coming into child's pose, balasana, wide leg of child's pose. Arms reaching forward, palms flat on the earth. Inhale, lift your eyebrows and to walk your hands back towards you. Place the right hand. sort of slightly ahead of your knees and then reach up with the left arm. As you exhale, let's take the left arm underneath us and come to the earth here. So we're coming into uh, threading the needle. 
but with wide-legged balasana. So this is Parivrita balasana. Let's take the right hand to the lower back or towards the left hip. You can bring your hands into your Vayu Mudra, index finger, folded thumb on the knuckle of the index. One full breath here. And then let's release the right hand to the earth. Inhale to reach up with the left arm. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Draw up the right hand towards the sky. As you exhale, fold it underneath and bring your right ear and shoulder to the mat. Then the left hand can reach behind to the lower back, palms face up, or you can tuck it into the right hip in your Vayu Mudra. Parivrita Balasana. Thinking about how you can challenge conformity. Stereotypes, boxing in and break free. Step outside of that box. Step forward into who you are, where you're going, but not on your own, with your community. Take them along with you. We are in relationship with our community. One more breath here. And then release the left hand. Inhale to rise up towards the sky with the right hand. Exhale, hand to the earth. Let's bring the knees together. Rise up on your knees. We're going to move into Ustrasan camel pose here. You may tuck the toes. You can keep the toes untucked. You also have the option of placing a cushion or a block or a folded, rolled up blanket underneath your feet so that you can rise up a little here. Also pad your knees, my friends. Let's bring our hands into Kali Mudra. So index fingers, Extended, thumbs cross, or the other fingers interlaced. Inhale, reach up. Turn to face you, my friends, so you can see me. Exhale over to the left. Inhale to center. Exhale to the right. Inhale to center. Take a moment here. Gentle back bend by gazing up towards the sky. Keep the hips and pelvis aligned above the knees. Let's reach behind, support our lower back with our hands here. Now, my friends, you can stay here by supporting your lower back, drawing the shoulder blades together, reaching out across the collarbones and lengthening the sternum, drawing the navel in. You may also reach for your heels. You can untuck your toes or tuck your toes to do this with one hand at a time. Or you can take both hands back. Your choice, my friends. You can be gazing up, or you can have your chin slightly tucked so your gaze is more neutral. If you have one hand, remember to swap. And then when you're ready, my friends, supporting your lower back, reach your hips and pelvis back towards the heels. And tuck your toes here. And then bring the hands to the earth so you create a scaffold. Bring the top of your head, the crown, towards the earth. And then dome through the back so that you broaden out the lumbar region here, the sacrum. You can keep your hands on the earth or reach back for your heels. Shashangasana hair pose. This will release your back, but also we are creating this sort of 
connection with the earth where we are completely connected. This cycle is complete, it's full. Reminiscent of Om Purnamadam Purnamidam mantra. Which is a mantra we often use in the full moon. Om Sahana Bhavatu Sahano Bhunatu Sahaviryam Karavavahe Tejasvina Vaditam Mastu Mas Bhavisha Vahe Vidvisha Vahe Rise up Untuck your toes, take a moment here, coming back into Vamarasana, table pose, sway the hips, let's circle here with the hips one way, then the other way. Tucking your toes, spread your fingers wide, inhale, lift up into mountain Parvatasana, swaying the hips, hugging the feet here. And then let's walk our hands back towards our feet. Bend into your knees, take the hips behind the heels to come into the functional forward fold. Breathe into the lower back here. Inhale. Let's draw the heels together. As you bend into your knees, let's rise up, uncurling through the spine to come up to Tadasana Sanding Mountain. Turn here to the, to the left. Let's bring the hands together. We'll bring them in our Dirgasvara Mudra for the moment, in front of the heart. Connecting with our Sankalpa to serve humanity through selfless service. We have social responsibilities. Bring your hands into Pushpanjali, palms open, little fingers connected, slightly tipping forward, the water bearer, offering up your knowledge, your learning to protect others, to move together in courage and strength, to have purpose, to take meaningful actions towards change in solidarity with our communities. Inhale, reach up, Kali Mudra, exhale to the left. Inhale, center, exhale to right. Inhale, center, step across in Karasana, star pose. Take a moment here. Feet slightly turned out, or perhaps you have your feet turned poor, so they're parallel. Your choice, my friend. Inhale, reach up with Kali Mudra, bend into your knees. Devi Asana, Utkata Kanasana. One breath here. Let's bring the right forearm onto the right thigh and then circle with the left arm three times. Big circles, hand in Vayu. And then let's bring the left arm onto the left thigh and then let's circle with the right arm. Sweeping the floor to rise up. And then rising up, back into star with our vital Darga Swara Mudra. Middle finger folded in, nails connected. Take a moment here and then open up the arms in expansiveness. Turn the right toes up towards the top of the mat. Hinge over to the right. Exhale, right fingertips come down towards the earth. Left hand can be on the hips or reaching up, coming into 
Sikhanasana. One breath here. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Hop that left foot slightly out with a 45 degree angle to come into Pyramid Parshavottanasana. Pyramid pose. Bring your hands into Kali Mudra at the heart. Reach forward. Now, connecting through all four edges of your feet, bending slightly into your knees, engage your core to rise up into standing pyramid. And lift your gaze overhead. Take your hands slightly behind you. Shift the weight into the left leg, but maintain a connection between the right foot. Exhale, hands to the heart and Kali Mudra. Rotate on the ball of that left foot. Rise up into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Hands can stay at the heart or reach forward. Exhale, left hand to the earth. Bring the right hand to the earth, left hand onto the left hip. Now flex the left foot so that your the sole of your foot is facing the short edge of your mat and the toes are facing the long edge of your mat. When you're ready, my friends, let's move into Adha Chandrasan half moon pose. So from warrior three, we transition into Adha Chandrasan. Hands can be on the earth, on blocks, on a low footstool or chair. One more breath. Take a moment here, gaze down towards the earth, bend into that left foot. You may catch hold of it for sugarcane pose. And then let's release the left foot to meet the right. So you come into a forward fold at the top of your mat. Take a moment here, my freedom seeking friends. Unfurl the spine to rise up, to come into standing here. Take a moment, turn to the left. Bringing your hands into Dirgasvara Mudra at the heart, this expansiveness here. So this full moon is also accompanied by meteor showers, which depending on where you live, you may or may not see. This is the symphony of stars. Danishta. Danishta, it's called the symphony of stars. This is part of the moon's pathway along this, um, the moon's constellation through Aquarius. Inhale to reach up, interlace your hands, in Kali Mudra, exhale to the left. Inhale to center, exhale to the right. Inhale to center, step across your mat in Tarasana, star pose. Inhale, bend into your knees, reach overhead in Kali Mudra. Devi Asana with Kali. Let's bring the left forearm onto the left thigh and create big circles with that right arm. Whoops, finding your balance. And then bring the right forearm onto the left right leg and create circles of the moon with the left arm. Resist the norms, the standardization, um, all the conformity that is expected of us. Resist challenge, rise up and be free of those for yourself and for others so that we can break through the chains of thinking, the binds of thinking in um, the ways of the systems of oppression, for example. When you've completed your circle to your satisfaction, rise up, 
Let's come into Pushpanjali here for a moment. Open out in Tarasana. Turn the left heel towards the top of the mat. Exhale over to come into Trikonasana. Star pose. Left hand to the earth. Star pose. Triangle pose. This season is also known, uh, this moon is also known as the thunder moon, where you get bolts of lightning. So it creates this churning of emotions. The water bearer is also gifting up emotions, gathering up the emotions and gifting them back to the earth. Exhale, bring the right hand towards the earth or onto blocks. Slightly hop that right foot so that you come into pyramid. Pashavottanasana. Bring your hands to your heart in Kali Mudra. You can extend your arm out. So make sure you have space here. Engaging through the lower body. So hugging the earth with your feet. Soft bend in the knees. Hug in the muscles towards the bones and then engage the core to rise up in standing pyramid to gaze up gentle back bend here from here my friends rotate onto the ball of your right foot I'm going to come into warrior three so moving i'm just gonna make sure i've got lots of space so i can stretch my arms out you can stay on the ball of that right foot to come into this variation of warrior three so that you are supported. Bring your hands onto blocks as an alternative. Reach for the wall. Your hands can stay at the heart. You can extend them. Yogi's choice. Have the always have props available, whether it's props that lift up the earth towards you or props such as the wall so you can find balance and stability from here my friends we're going to move into Ardha Chandrasana by bringing the left hand to the earth uh, away from your foot so you've got lots of space here and then flex the right foot this right hand can come to the right hip or you can reach up with your right arm Find your balance here, and it might be that it would be more helpful for you to have a block, or, or you can place your hand on a wall. There's lots of options here. And explore all those options. If you fall out and you're not feeling very steady, which is very common during the cycles of the moon, when we hit full moon, we can feel slightly, because we're going through a change, we're being turned up. We might feel wobbly. And, that, and that's fine. We seek each other support in that. Then when you're ready, you can bend into the right foot, take hold of the right foot for a moment. And then release that right foot to meet the left, coming into a forward fold. Tasana. And feel your spine to rise up. And then turn to the right here. So you come back to the bottom edge of your mat. Take a moment here. Let's bring our hands into Dirgaswara Mudra by folding in the middle fingers, extending all the others so they're parallel. Reach up to come into Kali Mutra, exhale to the right, inhale center, exhale to the left, inhale center, take a moment here, hands back into Pushpanjali, take a moment, offering up what you wish to offer up, Part of the constellation and the pathway of this moon is 
um, passing through in Jyotish, Jyotish in the Vedic astrology, Indian astrology, is the hundred healers, the hundred healers. Water, even though this is an air sign, water is often the quality associated with healing. That in collective liberation, we will also find collective healing, a hundred healers. Hands back to your heart. Take a moment here. Step wide along your mat to come back in to star pose just for a moment as we transition to the earth. Heel, toe, heel, toes, feet together. Hinge from your hips. And then exhale to come into a forward fold here. Hands can be on the earth, on blocks, on the footstool, or on the wall. And then bend into your knees, my friends, and come down to the earth. If you can maintain that connection with your hands on the earth, please do. And then bring your hands together in Virgaswara here. Option now here, my friends, we're going to do the circle with the right arm three times. And then let's do the circle with the left hand three times. I'm just gonna hug the knee in. And then when you're ready, my friends, let's come directly to the earth here. Take your legs around to the left, roll onto your knees. We're gonna come directly to the earth here. So I invite you to, Lower the abdomen. Have your arms so that they are parallel of the elbows or folded. So you come into Salamba Bujindasan, which looks like Sphinx pose. Lift your gaze here. Connect with Ujjayi breath. Bend into your knees, lift your toes up. Lower the feet, lift them up again. We'll do this three times. So we're just doing awakening and activating so we can move into our Shalabhasana and bow pose, Danyurasana. Exhale, lower the eyebrow center to the ear. Let's have the arms out in cactus shape. So bend into the elbows so that the elbows and shoulders are parallel and aligned and the wrists and the elbows are aligned. You can place a foldy blanket underneath the eyebrow center if you wish, my friends. This is a variation of Ad Advasana, uh, reverse of Shavasana. Let's reach back along with our arms. Now, my friends, you can keep your arms parallel and to the sides, palms can be face down or face up, depending on how you want to experience this. Or you can interlace your hands into your yoga mudra. As you inhale, lift the heart and the gaze. So hands aligned parallel to the earth or hands in your yoga mudra. And then exhale. Now we're going to lift our legs. So you can lift one leg at a time, or you may lift both legs. Your choice, my friends. Inhale. Rise up with the gaze, the heart, and the legs. If you're rising up with one leg, hold there for a few moments. And then let's swap. If you have one leg lifted, let's do, 
lower that one and lift the other one. Exhale, everyone, to the earth. Let's bring our hands, interlace our fingers at the back of our skull, keep the eyebrow center on the earth. So we're still in a variation of Advasana. Ujjayi breath here. Now, my friends, I invite you to prepare for the Nurasana bow pose. So bend into your knees. Reach back towards your feet with either a strap or with your hands. You can do one side at a time if you wish. Catching hold of your feet. Then push your feet against the hands and pull your hands in towards your feet. Inhale, lift your gaze, lift your heart, lift your knees slightly, squeeze the thighs together. Now we're all going to be in very different places here for bow pose. So we could have our knees and thighs on the earth. Lift our heart. We can lift our knees and keep our heart and eyebrow center on the earth. We can do one side at a time. Depending on how you feel here, my friends. When you're ready, let's release our Danyurasan. Now this time, take your arms up ahead. They can be parallel or wide. And then when you're ready, my friends, we're going to roll over very carefully, bend into your knees. Come onto your backs. Have a bend in your knees, feet flat on the earth for a moment. Allow your spine to be aligned here. I'm going to come into Sutta Chandrasan, reclined moon pose. Let's extend our legs long when you're ready. Leaving your shoulder and feet, the heels where they are. Let's shift the hip bones over to the right. But you begin to create a C shape or a banana shape on the earth. Walk your feet over to the bottom left hand corner and walk your head and shoulders up to the top left hand corner so that you create an extension along the right side. Reach overhead and either take hold of your wrists or your elbows, or you can extend your arms and bring the left hand wrapped around the right wrist and the right wrist is in by your mudra. Draw the left arm over, right arm over with the left arm. You can also cross the right ankle over the left ankle. This will bring a stronger sensation of expansion and extension on the right side of the body. So you're creating almost like a banana on the earth. This is in yin, this is called banana asana, but it's actually super tendrasana. The climb moon. Aquarius, the full moon in Aquarius, illuminates new directions for us, helping us to break free of one's own judgment, of the judgment of others. It invites us into rising up towards our highest calling, to be visionaries, seeking independence, 
agency, sovereignty, freedom, liberation, the fighting for the rights of others in community, that is part of our social responsibility. Kumba is moon, Kumba moon, Kumba Chandrasan, Kumba Chandra. Is this offering of the water bearer in awakening, in change, in progress? By nourishing us, our mantra for today helps to remind us that we protect, nourish, strengthen, give courage, teach and learn from one another. And then together we become brilliant, illuminated, purposeful. And may we never turn against one another. Inhaling. Release the right wrist or the right elbow. And then let's uncross the ankles if they're crossed. And then let's shuffle the hips back into center for a moment to align here. And then let's shuffle the hips over to the left, walk the feet into the bottom right-hand corner, walk the head and shoulders towards the top right-hand corner, reach overhead. Here you can take hold of opposite elbows. You can take hold of the left wrist with the right hand, bringing that left hand into by you may also cross the left ankle over the right, coming into this crescent shape on the earth. Super Tandrasan. Towards the right now. So you feel extension and expansion on the left side. having uncovered what has been lying dormant, hidden, under the weight of society's expectations, society's labeling, society's prejudice, so that we are able to move with agency, independence, sovereignty, into non-conformist ways, into freedom thinking, forward thinking, open-minded, open-hearted, innovative, idealistic visions so that we can be our brightest, most visible self. Inhale back to center. So uncrossing the ankles, releasing the hands and elbows, Shuffling the feet and the arms and the head and shoulders and hips to center. Let's align there for a moment, lying in Shavasana. Arms away from the body, feet falling out, Tin, chin slightly tucked in. Giving to the earth, drawing from the earth and giving to the earth. Om Sahana Vavatu Sahano Bunakto Sahaviryam Karava Vahe Tejas Vinavaditam Mastu Ma Vidisha Vahe Om Shanti 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 Inhaling, you need to curl and uncurl your fingers and toes. Bend into your knees and give yourself a hug. Gentle roll from side to side. 
And then let's roll on to the left side to rise up into our seat. Sukhasana. Bring your hands together in Namaskar. Here as we begin on our journey of illumination from one full moon in Aquarius to the next, this bridge that enables us to undertake this journey, knowing that we are one of the hundred healers. Let's close our practice by chanting Om Shanti. Inhale fully to prepare. Om Shanti 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 Danyavad, Danyavad. Don't forget my friends, me and my hounds, my rebel hounds are going to be taking the lead in a challenge, well, the equivalent of a marathon in August to raise funds for St. Mungo's homelessness charity. Uh, St. Mungo's helps to provide shelter to those uh, people living on the street who have dogs and therefore aren't usually welcome in at hostels. Um, and so they, they have hostels in which people off the streets can go and find a dry bed for the night with their loved, beloved pets. So instead of making um, paying into the, my PayPal account, please go and find the link to my um, charity Just Giving page on, it's on my link in Instagram. It's also in my newsletter, which I sent out to everyone. If you haven't had my newsletter, it's also linked in my Instagram and linked on in my website page. So I know the charity will be really grateful and I will be really get, grateful for you to support that charity um, by donating through my page. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Kali. Have a great day. And you, thank you so much for joining.